In this video, I'm gonna talk about more on the double integrals. You're gonna see that we're gonna compute the double integral and we're gonna kind of reverse the order of the double integral in order to be able to compute the one that we not be able to compute. So you see in this first example that you have to sketch the region of integration and you like to change the order of the integral. So you see here that it's gonna turn out to be integral one over square root x squared plus nine dx and we not be able to integrate by substitution. Okay, so this one we not be able to integrate by substitution. So not able to integrate by the substitution. So when you have the double integral that you not be able to integrate by substitution like this one, so we can do this one by trying to reverse the order. Okay, so we try to reverse the order. Okay, so this is what we are gonna do in this example. So I have to teach you a little bit here, okay? So the thing that you see is gonna be, you see that you have X inside and you have Y outside. So you're gonna see X lie between Y over two and two, and Y lie between zero and four. Okay, so you have x lie between y over two and two, which is come from the inside integral. And you have y lie between zero and two. They are coming from the outside one. Okay, so you're gonna sketch. Okay, so you're gonna sketch. So you're gonna sketch y also. It's going to be x equal to y over 2 and x equal to 2. Okay, so this one is your curve. And x equal to 2 also your curve. So you have x equal to y over 2 and x equal to 2 to sketch. So this will give you the thing that look like so you see that this one turned out to be y and turned out to be x. And then you have x, y over two. So x equal to zero, y equal to zero. So you have at the origin one point and you have x equal to uh, y equal to two, yeah, y equal to two x equal to one, okay, so x equal to one, y equal to two, one, two, uh, one, two. So it's turned out to be a line that connecting these two point. So this allow me to draw a straight line. So this guy will be uh, x equal to y over two, or you have y equal to two. Okay, so this one will be just uh, the, sorry, y equal to two x, y equal to two x. Okay, and then what? And then you see that your x view, uh, your y will cover from zero to four. y equal to four is somewhere here. And y equal to four will correspond with x equal to two. So I have to sketch x equal to two first, sorry. So x equal to two is gonna give me vertical line. Okay, so this one will be x equal to two. Okay, so after you sketch x equal to y over two and x equal to two, so you 
gonna first see the region and you see the intersection point here which turned out to be two four okay so you have the intersection point which is two four yeah so x equal to two y equal to four and this one will be your region is okay so you have the triangle okay and you like to reverse order Okay, so we're gonna reverse the order. What does it mean to reverse the order? So it's gonna mean that you're gonna have the double integral of everything kind of look the same, except, okay, so it's gonna turn out to be the same, except you have dy dx. So the thing that you must see turn out to be the difference between this order. Okay, so you before you have the x dy, now you have dy dx. And you're gonna see that it's gonna turn out to be having y run first. So y gonna run from the bottom guy. The bottom guy turn out to be y equal to zero. Okay, so which is this guy, okay, y equal to zero. So I'm gonna write down y equal to zero up to the top guy, which is y equal to two x. Okay, so this one will be y gonna running in this direction. So it's gonna be y equal to zero to y equal to two x. Okay, so it's gonna be vertically run and you have x will cover from zero up to two okay so this one this is what the double integral after reverse the order will look like okay so you see that before you have the double integral in the form of dx dy you see you have x between y over two to two you sketch x equal to y over two you get x equal to two and y gonna cover everything that you already have here, okay? And then you're gonna reverse the order by writing dy dx, okay? And then you will have y run first, so it's gonna be going up like this, and it's gonna be y equal to zero to y equal to two x, and then you're gonna run from zero to two x, and it's gonna be cover x from zero to two. So you see the color I try to have is corresponding to the double integral, so it's not gonna be confusing, okay? So now we're gonna try to evaluate this one. Okay, so I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna enlarge this guy. So we're gonna concentrate on this double integral. So why do we like to have this order? Because you see that we be able to integrate. Okay, so if you consider only the inside, it's gonna turn out to be constant. Okay, so this term turned out to be constant. Okay, so this guy turned out to be constant and you have intricate constant dy. You have intricate constant dy. So this would give you the whole constant square root x square plus nine multiplied with y. Okay, and you see that it's gonna be from y equal to zero to y equal to two x. Okay, so I try to have the color correspondingly so you're not gonna be confusing. And then you see that this guy kind of nice, so it's gonna be one over square root x square plus nine, and it's gonna be two x minus zero. Okay, and so this one will be intricate from zero to two dx. Okay, so you see you can just have the outside down. Okay, so the outside turned out to be zero to two and it's gonna be two X. And here you can use the substitution. So you're gonna let U to be X squared plus nine DU equal to two X DX. And you're gonna have X equal to zero 
u equal to 9, x equal to 2. So you have u equal to 13. So this will become indicate 9 to 13, 1 over root u, du. Okay, so this guy is the yellow one. Okay, and then you're gonna just have plugging in. So you integrate one over root u, so it's gonna be two root u from nine to 13. So it's gonna be two root 13 minus two root nine. So it's gonna be two root 13. Subtract by six. Okay, and this one will be your final answer. Okay, let me make this guy a little bit smaller. So you see that we begin with the question that you not be able to integrate and you reverse the order to the thing that you be able to integrate. That's the key thing, okay? The point that we do the reverse order will be just one point. We like to evaluate for value. So this one, you see that you transform the one that you not be able to integrate to the one that allows you to quite be able to integrate. And you can use the substitution at the end and you would get 2 root 13 minus 2 root 9. So it's going to be your final answer in terms of the double integral. Okay, I know it seems tough, but this one is going to allow you to be able to evaluate anything. Okay, so it's going to be final technique that I hold on a little bit last week in order to, uh, you, and in order for you to gain some experience first, and then we're going to go to the difficult thing for this one. So what should, what we got, what, what we did is going to be concluded in uh, like a, about three steps. So the first one is going to be you're going to sketch the region. So this one is the first step. The second step, you write down this guy. And the third step turned out to be you evaluate for value. So it's going to be one, it's going to be sketch the region. And two, it's going to be you reverse the order. And the third one turned out to be you integrate for value. Okay, so that's it. The next one, we like to sketch the region of integration and change the order of integral. Integral from one to three, integral from zero to four minus x, and you have fxy dy dx in this case. So you have c that this guy will be y, this guy will be x. Okay, so this is the thing that you see in the problem first. So I have this guy and this guy, okay? So you see that you have y between zero and four minus x. So the thing that you see will be zero less than or equal to y less than four minus x. And you have x between one to three, okay? And then what? And then you gonna just have to sketch, okay, so you see, you sketch y equal to zero and y equal to four minus x. Okay, so you sketch y equal to zero and you're gonna sketch y equal to four minus x. So you're gonna have, so you gonna have the x axis and the y axis as usual. And you're gonna find x intercept and y intercept. So it's gonna be four and four. So this one will be, so this one will be your y equal to four minus x. So it's gonna be four and it's gonna be four. Okay, so this guy is y equal to four minus x. Okay, and you have x lie between one, two, three. So this one is four, right? So it's going to be one, two, three. Okay. So the region that you have 
turned out to be this trapezoid. So it's going to be the region is not in the middle here. And you have x equal to 3, y will be 1, x equal to 1, y will be 3. Okay, so this one will be the picture that you have. Okay, and then you're gonna reverse the order. So in order to reverse the order, it's gonna be, you're gonna have the double integral of f x y and you gonna have the x dy instead okay so you see the place that we are changing here so you have dy dx and you are changing to the x dy and you see that you must have x run first so you're gonna have x run horizontally so when x run horizontally you see that it's gonna run from this pink guy okay so let me highlight this one with the pink one okay so it's gonna be this pink guy so it's gonna run from the pink guy however you see that it's gonna be pink to the blue one okay and also pink to the gray one okay so you see that when x run it's gonna change the curve so it's gonna be up until here that you're gonna have to the gray one here. And from one to three, it's gonna turn out to be to the blue one. So you must separate the picture a little bit. So you're gonna have two pieces in this case. So the first one and the second one Okay, so you have the first one and the second one. So the first one will cover from zero to one. Okay, so X will cover one, two, three. Okay, so this one is the first one. So the picture will be this uh, rectangle. So you see that it's gonna be X gonna be from one to three and y gonna cover from zero to one. Okay, so it's gonna be y gonna cover from zero to one and x gonna be from one to three. So it's gonna be zero to one, zero to one, one to three, like this. And this one will be the picture number one. Okay, so you see the picture, you have x from one to three, y will be zero to one. And the second one, okay, so you have the second one. The second one, let me have the color. So you have f x y dx dy. So for the second one, you see that you get the triangle. Okay, so you get the triangle. So you have this guy. Okay, and this is your second picture. So for the second picture, you see that it's gonna be x equal to one for this side. And for the other side, turn out to be x equal to four minus y. So this guy is x equal to four minus y. And you are running horizontally. So it's going to run in this way. So you see that it's going to be x equal to 1, x equal to 1, to let me write in the way that, so you have x equal to 1, and you have x equal to 4 minus y. So that is going to be on the other side. And you see the range of y turn out to be one to three. Okay, so the range of y, look at this, it's gonna be here. Okay, so the range of y turn out to be from one to three. So that is gonna be the y that cover. Okay, so it's gonna run from the pink guy. Okay, so it's gonna run from the pink guy to the blue one, okay? So that is the pink one and to the blue one.
and this one you have two pieces and you're gonna sum them up okay so you're gonna sum these two one these two up so this one will be the reverse order that you're looking for so it's gonna be the sum between the first one the first picture and the second one okay so this one will be all of the solution for this example okay the third one okay the third one you like to sketch the region and change the order so here you have x lie between okay so the thing that you see you see x lie between 4y over 3 and you have x 25 minus y square okay and you have x gonna cover from 0 to 3 okay so you're gonna have x cover from 0 to 3 sorry y y so it's gonna be y so you have x between 4 third y and square root 25 minus y square and y cover from 0 to 3 and you like to sketch you're gonna sketch x equal to 4 third y and you're gonna sketch x equal to square root 25 minus y square and 25 minus y square will be circle so you have x square plus y square equal to 25 okay so you solve this one so this guy will give you circle however it's not going to be full circle it's going to be only say my circle okay so this guy is turned out to be semi circle and it's going to be semi circle where x positive because this one is only positive square root okay so it's going to be semi circle where x positive what does it mean to be semi circle where x positive so you have x axis and y axis so you get x y okay and you have x between like this so x positive it mean something like this okay so that will be the semi circle when x positive so it's going to be x equal to square root 25 minus y square and you have y x square plus y square equal to 25 okay so this one will be phi the circle radius phi negative phi and phi okay and you have x equal to 4 third okay why so it's going to be x equal to 0 y equal to 0 0 0 will be one point and you have x equal to 4 y equal to 3 x equal to 4 y equal to 3 so it's gonna be this point and it's gonna turn out to be our intersection point okay so x equal to 4 y equal to 3 so this one will be x equal to 4 third y so this one will be the green one and it's gonna turn out to be on the circle due to you have x equal to 4 y equal to 3 turn out to satisfy the equation okay so if you sketch and you use 4 3 like i did i use 4 3 because what because i know that if x equal to 4 you're gonna be able to solve for y to be a whole number and it's gonna be easy to compute okay so for this one it's gonna look like that and what is the region you see that y cover from 0 to 3 let me highlight with some color so you have y between 0 to 3 and it's going to be just this one and you see that it's turned out to be this arc here and it's going to be this sector so it's going to be let me shade this one a little bit 
uh, what color shoes I use. So it's going to be shading here. Okay, so this one will be the area that we gonna use. So it's kind of messy. Let me just draw S here. So it's going to be my S here. And you need to reverse the order. You need to reverse the order. So the thing that you should write is going to be integral, integral. And you have F, X, Y, and you reverse the order to be the Y, DX. Okay, so it's going to be opposite of the X, DY before. And you see that you must have Y run first. You must have Y run first. So when you running Y, it's going to be from the gray one. Okay, so it's going to be from, like I highlighted, pink earlier so it's going to be from the pink one up to the green one so you see that it's going to be from the pink one to the green one however it's not all the time because after x equal to four it's turned out to be the green one i'm uh, sorry the pink one to the orange one okay so you see that hey we do need to separate Okay, so we do need two pieces. So it's going to be number one and number two, right? The answer for that question is going to be yes. So you need number one, which is this piece, okay? And number two, which is this piece, okay? So you, need to, you do need two pieces in this case. And then you're going to... So you're going to have the double integral so it's going to be number one plus the double integral that come from number two okay so you do need two pieces and you need to add them together so this one will be the thing that you have Okay, I let you write number one, number two by yourself first, and then I give you the solution later. Okay, so I I, I draw, I sketch the region already, and I ask you to do this one first, and then it's going to be your job in order to complete. Okay, so I'm going to give you the solution later in the recitation. The last one, we like to find the volume of the solid bounded above the xy plane under the surface. So you have set equal to e to the negative x cubed plus 1. And in this case, this one will be your surface f x y. And you need to compute s. Okay. So here, you're going to have the volume given by, so you have the volume given by the double integral over S of what? Of uh, e to the negative x cubed plus 1, okay, dA, okay, so this one will be the volume. And you see from the given in the question that you have y between 0 to 4 and x between square root y and 2. So this one will be curve. Okay. So we have x between two curve. So inside. Okay. So if you have x between two curve, it's turned out to be inside. So this guy will be double integral e to the negative x cubed plus 1 and dx will be inside so it's going to be dx dy for me here and you see that x is running from square root x to uh, sorry square root y uh, square root y to 2 and y running from uh, 0 to 4 so you have this one, okay? So you have x running from square root y to 2 and y running from 0 to 4. However, if you see that, this one cannot be evaluated because 
is turned out to be the function that we not be able to compute using the substitution. So this one impossible to evaluate. Or impossible to intricate. Okay, I highlight the prefix im. Okay, so it's going to be impossible to evaluate. So in this case, reverse the order. Okay, so we're going to need to reverse the order. Okay, so we do need to reverse the order and you're gonna need to write, you're gonna need to write integral and e to the negative x cubed plus one dy dx. Okay, so you need to write this one. So you're gonna have to follow. So the thing that you see you see so square root y less than x less than 2 and you have y between 0 to 4 okay so you're gonna sketch x equal to root y x equal to 2 okay and then you're gonna have to write uh, you're gonna have to write down the reverse order and compute. And you see that after we reverse the order, we be able to integrate. So after you reverse the order, you see that this become constant. And this will allow you to integrate. So it's going to be e to the negative x cubed plus 1 times y. Okay. And you need y equal to y equal to. Okay. So I begin this one for you. So I will ask you to complete this one first. Try to do this one on your own first. And then I'm going to give you the solution during the recitation. Okay. So this one will be a little bit complicated than the one that we studied last week. Okay. So that's it for all of the double integral. The next topic will be different from this one. The next topic turned out to be about differential equation, which involving the way that we like to solve for the unknown function y, and we gonna intricate, okay? So that's gonna be next topics. However, it's gonna be the double integral. So please study this for example. It's kind of hard to do, okay? So this one, you see that it's kind of easy setup. However, it's impossible to evaluate, so you need to do the reverse order, okay? Okay, so I'm gonna stop here.